What's going on, everybody? All right, I have a little bit more fullness in me. <laughs> what color my skin? So it's just like <laughs> recovery's a bitch, but mm. all right. I'm gonna put this out because I, I keep getting the questions, so I'm gonna answer it. Um, hopefully, this answers everybody as far as XRP pricing. Based on the amount of coins that are available, even the ones in escrow. When you take a look at the amounts that go cross-border every day, as far as payments, bank to bank, around the world, and governments, um, then you take a look at you know the whole tokenized assets, uh, let's just say that is the world. I do not believe that XRP can operate in a, in a non-agreed-upon settlement price. I believe that the first wave of it, you know, remittance payment, stuff like that, like that little small phase of it, we're going to see double digits. I, I believe we will see double digits before the full shebang. But I do not believe that with the amount of money that goes between banks around the world to, every day and the new endeavor of tokenized assets and securing, obviously, um, value in digital storage. Um, basically, just 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 look at it like tokenized assets. Like just look at that world. That's the that's the new venture for Ripple XRP turning into XRPL. I do not believe that the banks can utilize Ripple without having a, an agreed upon settlement price. Because, here, to, let me explain something to you. The number one thing that Ripple sells to banks around the world is two things. Fast settlement times and low risk. The problem is, if you have a fluctuating price like this, and no coins available, you're gonna have slow settlement times and you're gonna increase your risk because I might send you money via the XRP ODL system, but then by the time it gets to you, that value of money may have changed. Remember, this is nothing but digital Forex. So, if I was to take, let's say, for example, a Mexican peso and I was to today take it and let's say, I don't know, fly to Europe tomorrow. Well, chances are that Mexican peso is probably going to be plus or, more or less a few cents in between in value. That exposes risk, especially when you're dealing in the, you know, trillion dollar level. That is why I believe that the banks are going to have to settle on a first stage settlement price, like an agreed upon price. Like, okay, we'll do this, but each coin has, you know, we're going to agree that each coin is $5,000 and you're going to send me X amount of coins in order to fulfill this payment that you're doing. So you're going to send me, let's say, I'll make it, I'll make it easier. Let's just say Bank A in Mexico has to send Bank B in Germany um, $50 million. Okay? Well, they're not going to buy 50 million XRP coins or 100 million XRP coins, you know, at 50 cents. What they're going, you know, because they're not going to buy that and then send 50 million coins. It's, it's not that. So what they're going to say is, okay... We're going to price it at $10,000. Now, $10,000, you're going to send me 5,000 coins. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you now? Now, Bank A only has to secure 5,000 coins valued at $10,000. Much easier than finding 50 million coins at 50 cents or technically a dollar. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? 
That's why I believe that the price of XRP is going to be an agreed upon settlement price in order to ensure liquidity, fast settlement times, and low risk. So you wanted to know how the price will go up? Oh, the market cap, it don't mean a fucking thing. I'm gonna give you an example. Okay, perfect example. Let's say, for example, you want to drive a Lambo. Let's say you just went to Miami or you landed here, whatever, and you're like, oh my God, I want to drive a Lambo. And you see that they rent Lambos. And you really want to, this has been one of your bucket list. You want to you drive one. So you want to rent it and drive one. At that moment, if the guy turns around and he says, yeah, no problem, it's $1,000 for, you know, for the night. That's something that you want, you agreed upon, and you do it. It's not worth $1,000 a night, okay? But it's something that because you want it and the guy's renting it and the vehicle's in the middle, the XRP, you come to an agreed upon price that is more than what it will cost to rent the fucking car. That agreed upon price is going to make it easier for bank A and bank B. One, because bank A can secure 5,000 coins valued at $10,000. Now, see, that's what's going to happen. I believe that all the central banks are going to have an agreed upon settlement price. This way, they don't have to secure 50 million coins or 100 million coins. Do you understand? Oh, by the way, please understand one thing. Banks batch transactions. So it may be several transactions that are happening on one given day at the end of the day. So you have to understand how many coins would they be needing to seek all at the same time, all these different banks. Now, they're going to have to do some type of an agreed upon settlement price, and that price will not be cheap. So I hope that helps.